Exercise. Acting Permanent Secretary from the Ministry of Rural Development and Local Government says the Cut and Clay initiative was not a cabinet directive, but one that came from the staff to prevent the breeding of mosquitoes carrying the dengue virus. The initiative, which will be commencing in the Dago Martin and Chagonas regional corporations, includes the systematic cutting and clearing of overgrown lots and cleaning of local drains. Speaking on TTT's Now Morning Show, Acting Permanent Secretary Peter Mitchell said it was a proactive approach to ensure such breeding sites were eradicated and to assist priority areas. So they came to me with a proposal in terms of how they can use the resources we have right now, which mm -hmm. is the municipal corporation staff on the ground, as well as CPEP company, which is under the Ministry of Rural Development. Now, as permanent secretary, when my staff come with me with bright ideas, the first thing I ask is, how much is going to cost me? Naturally. Right? So um, Ariel and his team came and uh, together with the change manager, and they said, well, we're just going to mobilize resources because CPEP has already been, have right. the employees and so forth. So that's how the initiative came about. So I want to make sure that the public understands it's not a, uh, something that came up out of a whoops or mm -hmm. something. It is as a clear, it's a clear methodology in terms of what we're doing in public health mm -hmm. because the ministry is responsible for coordinating public health through the municipal corporation. And the ministry's operations coordinator, Ariel Saunders, is urging the public to submit areas they believe should be prioritized. Correct. We started last week mm -hmm. at the Penal de Regional Corporation mm -hmm. and the San Fernando City Corporation. Okay. Uh, roughly 900 workers will be mobilized on each day, uh, managed uh, by the PMO Project, Man Project Management Office at head office. Um, which will sort of take on a coordinating function, make sure the teams are in the right places. We have asked the municipal corporations to submit lists of uh, areas that they deem necessary for our intervention. Mm -hmm. We've also asked the public to support us by submitting areas that they think require the, uh, our attention. And so we are focused right now on overgrown bushes in derelict lots. We are mm -hmm. looking at drains that need to be cleaned, um, particularly and coming out of the exercise last week, we realized that there are among us, the elderly, those with special needs who may not be able to, I guess, upkeep their premises as they would like. He said people can submit the information via WhatsApp to 766-4199 with a name, number and location of the suggested area or visit any of the regional corporations.